week last week was intense in my last vlog that i put up was my travel vlog to la and when i got back i had so much work i literally spent the entire last week just working i also did buy the last two of these the doors so i'm gonna fix that this week so those are bought they're finally back in stock i waited six months for them to get back in stock or is it five it could be five months for it to get back in stock it could be six it's been a long time i also last week i have a bruise here and you can see i have one here as well i actually tried fillers in my face for the first time because i wanted to fill out these here and it looks really good like i love how it looks it's just that i have a bruise here i have a bruise here and there's also a little shadow here it is what it is it's not ideal but i'm not filming today i'm filming tomorrow so <laughs> I think I'm gonna try some color correcting tomorrow when I'm filming because I don't think this is going away until tomorrow but it is what it is and also me and Ricardo have a, a dinner reservation for tonight because we are celebrating two full years of being married <laughs> yes today is our anniversary so we're going to a restaurant tonight but first I need to work so I with my merch mug this is the team science merch mug i am gonna sit down i'm gonna edit some videos i'm gonna answer some mails and i'm gonna get some work done it is a beautiful day out like i said like the sun is out oh, mm, wonderful but it is really really hot yesterday we went to at home to look for a frame oh i bought a new furniture as well which is going to be delivered this week i'm going to show you uh, later on this week but we were looking at a thing in at home in at home and we didn't find it but but when we went there it was a hundred and nine degrees which is like 42 degrees celsius that is the warmest we've seen so far so we were like wow this is warm <laughs> we didn't go to the pool as well this weekend i don't know if i have time for pool this week but i hope so that would be amazing oh and you know what else we did we played Diablo 3 until midnight yesterday. That's why I'm up a little later. Usually I go up at 7 in the morning, every morning. Uh, except the weekends, of course. But now it's actually 8. I cheated. I cheated in the name of Diablo 3. <laughs> okay, so I've been working all day. It is after 4 o'clock and I took a shower because I needed a shower. And I... I need to do one more thing before I'm done for today. I've edited three videos and I've uploaded two of them. One of them needs a little b-roll before I can like actually um, save it and put it on YouTube. Uh, I need to do one more thing though. Mondays is always like, you know, catching up with mails, catching up with all these things, doing some planning, planning and plotting. <laughs> planning and plotting but yeah i need to do some instagram pictures so i'm trying to clean this one off i'm gonna do some instagram pictures of a couple of things i have and this one i want to take instagram pictures off it is the new palette from little cosmetics i have the new stuff from uh colourpop that i bought and maybe i'll take some of this as well because it's such a nice uh, collection it is the enchanted collection um, by Sigma so I'm gonna see if I can take a couple of Instagram pictures just to have them on my phone because I love taking those pictures and I love posting those pictures so I think that's like for now I look forward to going to a restaurant tonight Ooh, and I can wear my new shoes I know I showed you the shoes oh here's my floaty the Jimmy shoes I'm also trying to clean this up a little bit because I'm finishing up finally my getting my beauty room together which is going to be vlog style but I'm going to put it on my main channel. That's the video that I've been filming today. I just need to put in a little bit more of b-roll and I also need the last clip where I'm actually getting this part because I do have I do have the doors now. They're downstairs. We just haven't put them in yet so <sighs> I feel accomplished even though you know sometimes you feel like you didn't do anything but honestly I've been working really good today, so now I just need to take some Instagram pictures and that's gonna be it for today. Okay, 
I am the worst vlogger in the world. It is dark. <laughs> this, this is quality content. Quality content. We went to eat. What was it called? So and salt. Salty salt. Salty salt. That was close. Um, we had our anniversary dinner. You've mm -hmm. been with me for two years now. Yes. And this generator is so loud. I'm thinking it's about to explode. Sorry, sorry, I didn't, I didn't vlog the food. I'll put up a picture here from my stories of how pretty the food was. Sorry, we were celebrating, and I'm wearing like a lime gr green top and my Jimmy shoes. Can you see the sparkle? Sparklerino. Okay, this is not high quality content. I'm sorry. Oh, I did not wear any makeup though. Oh wait, look at the light. Let there be light. But yeah, this is the top. And this, this uh, high quality content. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, friends. It is, I think, like five or six o'clock at Tuesday. It's been a long way, long day of working. I have been filming two videos, I've been editing one video for tomorrow. I am wearing a top, I'm not naked. <laughs> I'm wearing the same top that I wore yesterday, but today it's with comfy shorts. And I've also been filming. Ooh, two or three TikToks. I am wearing the makeup now. Maybe my glasses have like taken some off. But I'm wearing uh, that seashell collection by Colourpop and some like new drugstore things. This video is already live on my channel if you're wondering about this makeup look because I am going to put that up tomorrow on Wednesday. But yeah, I've been basically working all day. And I got my lava lamp from Amazon. And it's a little bit broken. So I actually asked them to ship me a new one, but now I have to ship back the old one. But I did opt uh, to ship it from Kohl's, so we're gonna have to head to Kohl's at some point and leave that. Not today. Not today. I think Ricardo's back from work. He came back and just said hi. I'm rendering the video in the background. That's me rendering. But he's out with the dog now because I was like, I'm, I'm not done working. <laughs> Not done working. Oh my god. I put up a video today about like some other things that I've noticed since living in the US for six months. And I feel like a lot of comments have come in about me not realizing that pre-cut and pre-peeled things could be really good for people with disabilities. And you're right. I had no... I didn't think of that. Because like a lot of these things, you don't think of them automatically. But I'm really thankful that I have you to teach me about a lot of these stuff. Because um, you're always very helpful. Like I've told you before, like no one's perfect. We, we spend our entire life learning new things. But it's, some, it's like food for thought. It's like you never stop learning. Never think that you stop learning. And never think that you can't tell me stuff. Um, and even if I don't understand sometimes... I really am grateful that you're taking the opportunity to like just expand my mind so that I can know more things. Um, and also a lot of people are saying that, oh, it's only because you're in the South that people are like more friendly. But I will tell you that even in New York, because I've been to New York like what, six times? And I've been to LA like three or four times. I will say in all the parts that I've been in the US, and I haven't been everywhere, of course, I've not been everywhere. But I've been to Minneapolis, I've been to LA, I've been to Las Vegas, I've been to New York, I've been to Atlantic City, I've been to Miami. Everywhere that I've been, everyone has still been more chatty than in Sweden. <laughs> so even though, yes, I agree, here in the South, people are definitely more chatty than they are in, the, in New York. In New York, they're still more chatty than they are in Sweden. Like, listen, one does not simply talk to anyone else. I've told you before, if someone sits next to me on a bus, I'm like, great, this is how I'm gonna die. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> but I like it though, I like it. I do like my makeup look, I did put on instead the NYX gloss, the, the this is glossy, no this is milky, I bought the green one, and the mint one, so I'm wearing that. But yeah, I'm gonna upload this video. And I think I'm done for today. I did film two videos, which is really, really good. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to try and film with the Lethal Cosmetics. Did you see that I was able to, like, get my, like, bruise covered up? I'm happy. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to film with the Lethal Cosmetics. And I also think I'm going to film with the Elf. Because it says my Elf is up for delivery for today. So I hope it's coming. I did buy the... 
oh that means that i'm doing two gaming inspired videos tomorrow oh that's so exciting that makes me so happy more gaming inspired makeup i thought i'd show you the lava lamp because like it's not in its thing now but you can see it's been leaking a little bit so you can see it's like a little low on liquid so i just requested another one and i can tell that it's been leaking because my my package my box was a little wet <laughs> so i just contacted amazon and i was like hi this is broken and they were like we'll send you a new one all you have to do is to send this back before the 12th of august which is a really long time in the future so i just have to head to Coles and leave this before then so that's good i will say we our mailman is starting to destroy our mail like he I, I put on twitter he threw our package at the gate when we were like here ricardo saw him and he was really upset with him and now one of my packages has come a little busted and apparently he's been throwing it at the gate again and it's like are we are we fixing are you excited <laughs> these are the doors for my cabinets i'm so excited yay my beauty room is about to be done except that stupid lava lamp <laughs> sending me a new one did we scare you sweetie oh you're so beautiful so excited that it's finally done my makeup group is coming together it's a little bit messy here and uh, some candy candy oh something new look at this mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. but oh boy i'm so excited so excited i'm so happy to finally have this done like you have no idea literally been waiting for six months to have this furniture done and i'm just I'm so excited. I am waiting for a package from e.l.f. So I hope that is coming. I don't know if we're like cooking or something, but I'm so happy this is done. <sighs> we decided that cooking was not in the cards for us. <laughs> so we are boiling some eggs and we are eating egg sandwiches. Are you breaking the frozen bread? <laughs> Doesn't fit in the toast. <laughs> But yeah, just boiling some eggs, eating some egg sandwiches, and watching some of the... I think it is called Clone Wars, the Star Wars series. I'm fairly sure it's called that, right? Yeah. Bruce is almost gone. I was actually surprised over how great the Sigma color corrector just made it disappear yesterday. It was a little bit crazy. I didn't get my elf package, which makes me a little bit annoyed because I thought I was gonna get it. It said it was gonna be here. Mm, I will say, I think I had good luck with express shipping in the beginning because now I have nothing with, but bad luck with every company. It seems like express shipping means nothing. <laughs> I'm being overly dramatic, I know. I like how this looks, but my husband is having a hard time keeping them straight. Keeping them looking tidy. I'll fix that. Oh, the cat is drinking. Can you see her over there? <laughs> but yeah, my coffee is done. I'm gonna have some coffee, I'm gonna make a video well prepare the video for today it's already up on youtube i just need to fix the description box because you know i need to have a perfect description box or at least i'm trying and a thumbnail and then i'm gonna film today i wanted to film the elf i think i'm gonna film just trying some new indie makeup because i have that lethal palette and gloss and i have the face palette from opv beauty and I have those liquid highlighters from 
Unearthly Cosmetics. I think I'm gonna do that. Not what I thought I was gonna film, but I wanna film something. Is that okay? Is that okay? Oh, you're very sweet. You're very sweet. Hello? Do you wanna say hi, Bestie? Do you wanna come and say hi? Come, Tesla. <laughs> come. Do you wanna come and say hi? Do you wanna come and say hi to the friends? Because you're very cute. Mm. Mm. Are you hoping that Ricardo will be back soon? <laughs> uh, I have been filming and I haven't actually... I, I took half the day off. <laughs> I have decided that I'm not going to post a video tomorrow. I wanted to post the e.l.f. video with e.l.f. Cosmetics. E.l.f. Cosmetics customer service still hasn't gotten back to me i've had the worst luck with a lot of things this week so i decided i'm not gonna post tomorrow i filmed the video this look like i'm having my glasses on so i probably have some markings but i'm wearing the i'm wearing the palette from um little cosmetics i'm wearing the new highlighter from unearthly cosmetics i'm wearing the cheek palette by opv beauty just tried some new indie makeup and just talked a little bit just i don't know just caught up i feel like I need to remember that had this been in Sweden, I would have taken a vacation. <laughs> so I need to remember to be kind to myself. Let me close my closet. Oh, I feel so nice that it's like <laughs> so nice here behind me. Oh, did I start with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Yes, we're both waiting for, for Ricardo to come back. I thought I was going to show you what i bought and like share a little story i don't know if this vlog is making sense i feel like this vlog is less of a vlog and more of a podcast with visuals <laughs> it is what it is i've actually been invited to an event on saturday i don't know if i'm gonna bring i might do a separate vlog on that not because i'm actually bringing ricardo as my plus one so i don't know really but yeah this vlog is more of a podcast of me just sharing my life i guess but we have to go to the store today because my milk gone bad this morning so i actually haven't had any coffee today. maybe that's why my head is hurting because i didn't have any coffee because uh, my milk had gone bad so i need to go and buy milk today i didn't even think of that anyways let me show you the bag wow i am um crazy okay in the beginning you see do you see over here wait let me get it i'm having my sexy shorts on let me get the shoes in the beginning of the season there were two things that i saw from like brands because i have a bushy taste I'm, I'm, i'll be the first to admit i have bushy taste i saw two things from brands that i was like oh that is beautiful that is perfect that will make so much sense in my wardrobe those are colors that go together with stuff i already have and like stuff that i don't really have in my closet one of them was these bing heels from yumi chu i showed you these last week and i was lucky to buy them i wore these because i wore them now oh they're not take i'm gonna take the stickers off listen that's where I'm at. Uh, but I wore these to the dinner that me and Ricardo had on Monday. And I got these 40% off. Which is, I mean, honestly, to be able to buy designer 40% off. I mean, it's always nice to buy something 40% off. But you know, sometimes you buy something 40% off and you're like, oh, so I saved $3. I mean, that's nice. That's nice. But when you're buying something that's like, let's be honest, $1,000, 40% all of a sudden starts to become quite a lot. Wait, now I need to take these stickers off. Hey, haha. So yeah, these were one of the shoes and when I looked at them, they were on sale and I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe my luck. How lucky am I to be able to buy these shoes on sale? But there was a second thing that I also was like, oh, this was also a thing I wanted. And the reason why I didn't buy any, cause I didn't buy any designer things for quite some time after we moved here because I mean we bought a car and we bought furniture we moved here without any furniture and like everything you see here is like stuff that we have paid for since we came here we didn't have a bed we didn't have anything all the things that you see in this in this house are things that we bought when we came here because we came here with a couple of moving boxes three pets an air mattress and our suitcases that's what we came here with so i didn't buy anything and i didn't buy this item either but then since i was having such good luck with these shoes i was like you know what i should go and look at this thing to see maybe that also goes on sale and just see where it's available because maybe i'm having just as good luck i found it 50 percent off 50 percent off 
when I sat down to look for it. And this is from Jacquemus. I do have a couple of things from Jacquemus. I have two tops from Jacquemus. I love the brand. It is amazing, it is sexy, it is feminine, it is edgy, it is amazing. One of my newly found favorite brands and also not as expensive as like some like designer brands, but I love Jacquemus. So this is, this is Le Bambino in long in the orange suede so it has the Jacques Mousse uh, emblem and it is a little like almost like a triangle it has a flap it has a magnet and look at how pretty this magnet is it's like orange and there is a strap the strap is just in here and you can like just take it out and look at how beautiful the strap is on the sides and it is like oh let me show you it looks like this so it's a suede bag oh, and it smells mm, just suedey and beautiful and I love this and it's orange and it's suede and it's just uh, perfection absolute perfection and like this is this is like an expensive bag but it's not as expensive as like a Louis Vuitton or a Prada or a Fendi this is a less expensive bag than that and i got it 50 percent off 50 percent off can you believe like my luck this i've been lucky with this i've been lucky with <laughs> my express shipping my mails not so much <laughs> but this i've been lucky with and i'm just i'm just so excited and so grateful and just I can't believe that I found the two items that I wanted and I bought both of them on sale. So pretty. So yeah, I wanted to share that at least and hopefully my elf package will get here. That will be nice. That will be nice. <laughs> Low expectations, but at least this one. This one brings me joy. This one makes me happy. Let me know what you think about this bag. I haven't, I haven't looked at any of the items that are coming out from uh, for fall for autumn do you have a brand that's doing your like your favorite show maybe i should check and see what jacques mousse is doing actually for um for next season because i honestly have no idea i have no idea what they're doing for next season and since i've been really loving their stuff maybe i should check they also have a pair of shoes in this orange not that i need a pair of shoes i'm just saying Nexist. Just as I came down, I actually had three packages to open. So let's see what these are. Because I know what this one is. This one is from LH Cosmetics. And I'm guessing it's their new eyeshadow palette. Right? I hope it's intact. Oh, this looks so cute. Okay. Uh, this says Angelica, there is so, uh, wait, this says Angelica, there is no such thing as too much glitter. Shimmer Saga is a collection of four dreamy shimmering pastel shades. They are equally gorgeous on their own or as a topper on eyeshadow, lipstick and gloss. Effortless creativity at its best. The palette is of course multi-use and 100% vegan. I hope you will love this sparkly palette as much as we do. Love, Linda. And there's also an eyelash curler in here. That's exciting. Let's see how this one looks. How do we open this one without me actually like cutting my fingers, <laughs> cutting my fingers off? I hope this is. Oh, here it is. <gasps> Look at that. Do you see? So I guess these are like. They look a little duochrome, but they look very shimmery, toppery, glittery. I think some of them are duochrome, some of them are like more toppers. I love it's a little quad. Oh my god, I love the front. And then there's, there can never be too much glitter. Okay, that is really cute. I'm looking forward to trying that one. I am looking forward to trying that one. That is so nice. Thank you so much for sending that my way. Oh yeah, let me not show my address. I have no idea what this is. Should I say that first? I don't know what this is. Oh, this is from Kaleidos. Makeup on the bright side. Oh, maybe the other one is from Kaleidos too then. Because they were sending me that vault thing. 
It could be. It could be from Kaleidos. Okay, so this is... Let me put this to the side. This is... <laughs> stickers? Which is fun. I don't have anywhere to put stickers, but these are fun. I do like stickers. And some... Like, I put some stickers on the... Lethal Cosmetics blushes because they sent me stickers. I just think it's fun. And then there's another lip mask. It's the original Agave one. I thought it was Ricardo coming home. Oh, and they have redone. They have redone the packaging of Escape Pod. So I, the palette is still the same. They have just redone the packaging, and I kind of need it's slimmer. I can already tell it's slimmer. And um, I'm gonna have to bring up the original one to see what the difference is but I can tell that I am fairly sure that it's slimmer. If you haven't seen the escape pod, this is what it looks like. And of course, this is a new one. It's a really, really fun palette. It is the same kind of packaging we did when we did Club Nebula. So of course, I really love this uh, kind of packaging. Is this plastic now as well? Yeah. So this one is plastic now. I'm fairly sure it wasn't that before. That's really fun. I'm happy that they were able to, because this is a really cool packaging idea and it looks and feels really luxurious and I'm happy that they found a way to make it just a little, little bit more slimmer. Even though I honestly, I don't mind a bigger palette as long as it feels luxurious and not like just clunky and unnecessary. So I'm fairly sure then that this bigger package is also I'm fairly sure that this is also from Kaleidos then because they were gonna send me that lip vault So I think that this is gonna be that vault with the lip clays Okay, oh yeah, it is. Oh my god. This is big. <laughs> That's what she said Okay, let's see if we can get rid of some of these Okay, how exciting! So this is what the vault looks like. This one holds all of the lip clays. Uh, oh, it has some paper on the, <laughs> the little knob. Um, I know that they had another lockdown in China and uh, Kaleidos is a half Chinese, half American beauty brand that is located, they have their headquarters in Shanghai and they had another lockdown so they were not able to go into the office and they said that some of these things were like developed during the time that they were not able to get into the office. So, oh, so all the, like the, they're in here and I need to organize this a little bit. Oh, okay. They're just literally falling out. Let me see if I can show you. Like they're just falling out of this one. Okay. This one can go here. And you, oh, I see now, I see now. Okay. So there is like inside here, there is, oh, and you can, oh, you can pull this out. Okay. And you put them here. This is a mission. This is a mission. Am I prepared to do this right now? I feel like I have all of these, but I'm unsure about some of these darker ones. But I think I have all of these. Do I need to have more? Because I haven't decluttered any of mine. I'm gonna look into that, but I, I am gonna be keeping this vault. It's really cool. Do I hear my cat? I do hear my cat. Look at my cat. She's like, look at her. He's like, mom, it's very warm outside. Can I please come in? You want to come in? Okay. Thank you, mom. It was actually very warm outside. Yes, mommy loves you very much. Very much. <laughs> okay, we are heading to HEB to buy milk. And... Do we need... And what? Yeah, and what else do we need? Oh, that's oddly non-specific. <laughs> what do you usually buy at a grocery store? Yeah, I thought you had a specific list going. Yes, food. <laughs> wow, I guess this is gonna take a bit. <laughs> I was specific, I was like milk. Actually, I might need coffee too. Two most important things. 
can we have oh the damn cup holders can i be that bitch that has like coffee to the store because i didn't have coffee today So we are doing some herbs to put in the freezer. This is sage. Just really lasts a long time in the freezer, right? Yeah. And sage is really good with butter to have with your pasta. And then we are doing some uh, Brussels sprouts and some carrots. And we're gonna do them in the oven together with potatoes. And we brought, brought, bought some salmon that's already been like seasoned this is orange marinated oh and the dishwasher is on that's the sound and we're gonna put some camembert on it um i'm just gonna cut this up a bit and you put this on the vegetables like the last five minutes or something and it just melts a little bit sir are we cleaning our penis in the background sir 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 Yes, that's you. I forgot to show you the food because actually we had our neighbor over <laughs> for dinner. His wife is um, at her parents, I think. So he was <laughs> he was home alone. So we treated him to some dinner. So I forgot to show you what it looked like. But trust me when I said that it was very delicious. We also had some garlic sauce left that I made with some creme fraiche. So yeah, it was really delicious. And I'm having some cider, local Austin cider. It is F10 o'clock. Hmm. I'm gonna take off my makeup and I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow I'm filming my new makeup releases and I feel like there's a lot of really good things to talk about, so I'm excited. Hello! I just got this package. This is our cabinet that's gonna be in the living room. I'm super excited. I was able to get it in here from outside. It was heavy. Are you enjoying the sun? Are you enjoying the sun? Are you sure it's not a little warm for you? I'm gonna take a walk with Tesla. I'm wearing this pretty like graphic liner with some rhinestones. I've been filming my new makeup releases. I've been filming some TikToks. And I'm so happy with my TikToks that I filmed today. I feel so pleased with them. I feel like I'm becoming a little bit of a pro. I'm just, I'm having fun on the platform. So don't forget to check out TikTok as well, if you have it, of course. I think you can check TikToks without having a TikTok account as well, if you check it on your browser. But yeah, I'm gonna take the pupper out. We're gonna go for a pee pee. Will you kiss her, Dad? Will you go kiss her? Will you go kiss her? I think that's a yes. And then I am gonna heat some leftovers from yesterday. And I'm gonna start editing the new makeup releases for tomorrow. How are you not warm in the sun, sweetie? Did I have the air conditioning down too low? <laughs> Were you a little cold? I'm sorry. <laughs> furniture at like the thing I feel like this is upside down <laughs> okay let's have a peek this is the legs for sure um so it is indeed um upside down <laughs> i'm gonna need help i mean home delivery is very convenient in the us the problem is that every other time something's broken because this is the cabinet i mean 
This is an expensive piece of furniture that's broken, which is a shame. I really like how this looks, but like, I don't get it. It's like, we got a broken mirror, we, I got a broken, the lava lamp was broken. Like, I feel like every third or fourth delivery is just something that's broken. And it's like, does home delivery really help? It, it must cost companies so much money. Because, like, I'm not paying full price for something that was delivered to me looking like this. It just feels, I don't know, worthless. Who's paying for it? Like, because we bought it off Target. It's Target paying for it? <laughs> wow. Or is, like, the, the company that delivered it? Like, who's paying for it? Because I feel like someone's losing money. I mean, this was expensive. I'm not paying for it. That's one thing that that's for certain so it's a shame because the furniture is really pretty but yeah this is like really busted we're having bad luck who delivered it i don't know i don't know maybe it's the guy who hates us <laughs> oh my oh my god is, am i this oily <laughs> I called the Target and I have to say I talked to a woman named Joy and she was a joy to talk to. Like I said in the video about like differences that I've noticed in the US, your customer service is just so much better than any customer service I've ever dealt with in Sweden. They really could learn a, a thing or two and she was super super sweet and she gave me the option either to get a refund and send it back or to get a new one and then send, they were gonna go and pick up this one that's broken uh, or they were able to give me a 10 to 15% discount. And I mean, this is an expensive piece of furniture. I think it's expensive, it's like $400 and I don't wanna pay $400 for something that's broken even if it is a 10% discount. So I opted in to get a replacement and the replacement is not coming until next week. But Ricardo actually did put the furniture just so we can see how it looks. Let me show you. So I will say I love how it looks it looks so great here it looks so empty right now but it looks so great here it's just a shame that it's like he tried to cover it up a little bit <laughs> but i mean you can still see the crack here like it's not looking it's not looking very sexy so i'm excited that we are gonna get a new one but i really like how it looks like i like all of this and we're gonna keep we have some board games that we're gonna put in here it's just a really nice piece of furniture. There is going to be a lamp on top of it. And I also have bought a picture to put here. And then, yeah, it's just the TV, dog and cat toys and the couch. And then, of course, this place that we put together. I feel like we are getting somewhere. I'm going to have a mirror here. And that's something we're waiting for. But yeah, I really like how our home is coming together. I just wish that we had better luck with ordering stuff, but... At least Target was very helpful and I'm happy that they're coming to pick it up because this is just too big for us to take to Target. So really happy about that at least. And yeah, I like it. I, if, the, if, the, if the cabinet is still in stock, I will link it down below. Let me know what you think about it, but I, I really like it. I think it's pretty. I just wish it wasn't broken. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, this is dark. This is dark. It is... Am I being followed? I've been followed. It is Friday, my new makeup releases is live. I have done uh, my base makeup because I did get the Blend Bunny palette yesterday. And oh, I just love how this looks. And look, this is how this looks. So we did get yesterday night, we did get the, um, this is the lamp that I wanted. Let me put it on so you can see. It is from, uh, Urban Outfitters and then this is the frame that we're gonna put the picture in but it is not here yet So it looks really beautiful this whole space. I just Am looking for a furniture that's not broken But I like how it looks and it comes together with everything here This corner is not hundred percent fixed, but I, I like how it looks I just wanted to show you that we did add a couple of things I love that boxes are still here because they are picking that one up and we're getting one that's not broken I'm gonna get myself some kind of a snack. Am I? In focus, I don't think so. Oop. So I'm gonna get myself some kind of a snack and then I'm gonna film the a Blend Bunny um, Primal Palette video because I wanna get that live today actually. It's like a bonus video, maybe later in the afternoon. I'm just gonna do one look. I have a look that I have seen on a really talented Instagram artist and I wanna recreate her look. So I'm gonna do that with the Primal Palette and 
what else is like up for today i don't think like i want to i i don't want to overwork myself because we are going to that event tomorrow in houston and also i just signed to do a sponsored thing with a brand that sells fruit snacks and they just recently came into heb here in um texas so they wanted me to just go and show that and honestly the snacks look delicious and i really would like to try them so i felt like this was something that really fit me because i like a more i don't want to say a healthy option but just something else than like just candy and like stuff like that so i wanted to try this out and i and unless i absolutely hate it of course if i try it and i absolutely hate it i i won't post about it but i am gonna go and see if i can get that fixed this weekend too because i just signed with it and i think that it would be a nice thing for me to record with Duke together i need to hunt it down <laughs> hunt it down and take some nice pictures but yeah i'm gonna get myself some breakfast and then i'm gonna film and I'll show you what the look is after. But this is this is me before I shadow. Okay, so I'm done with filming. I'm done with filming. I filmed two videos. This is the look. I love it. Oh, I'm actually gonna walk the dog, but I am gonna take my extensions out. I just put them in quickly to have them to look a little cute in the video. But honestly, it is a little too warm to walk the dog wearing these. So I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna walk the dog. And then I'm gonna edit this video. Oh, I need to do some swatches too. Oh, I need to do some swatches of the blend palette and I need to, eh, hello. I need to um, just get this video up. I wanted to have it up like a little earlier than it is now, but I decided to film in another video that I had planned or like prepared. And it's really nice to just have another video done because I really like this makeup look. And I want to, here it is, I, it's like a lot of hair. And I mean, my hair is nice too. Like I have nice hair. Mm. Oh, is this okay? I think this is okay. I'm just gonna put a little, hmm, like that. Oh, oh I have a hair here. <laughs> I see it. Haha. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna walk the dog and then I'm gonna fix some swatches and I'm get to, gonna get the video up. I just had another video uh, prepared as well and I decided to film it because I really love this makeup look. It's so fun and cute. So I filmed the reacting to your unpopular opinions. I don't know if I'm having that up next week or even maybe the week after because it depends on how much I'm having next week. But I'm done filming for today, which is nice because it's really warm in here and I need to have lunch. Oh, I have some frozen food. And I was really, this one, I love this one. This is my favorite so far. This is the shrimp scampi with pasta. And this is a lemon uh, butter sauce that is like a little garlicky and it's really nice. So I think I'm going to have that one for lunch because I don't have any leftovers. So I think I'm going to have that for lunch, start editing the video, do some swatches and get the video up. That's where I'm at. I'm going to editing, eating some nuts. These are grape and strawberry, delicious. But I have done the B-roll, I've had lunch break, I'm listening to the full coverage podcast, and I am gonna be editing my video with the Primal palette. It's happening. Okay, so me and Ricardo have been playing some Diablo and I got my replacement lava lamp. So let's see if this is, well, not broken. Not had the best luck with my orders lately. How am I supposed to? Okay, so this is the foot. Seems nice. Um, did I open this in the wrong end? I don't think so. Hello. Oh yeah, this seems so much better. Oh yay, because the other one that I got was leaking. Okay, so here is the lamp. The little lamp that's gonna give it heat. Ricardo's gonna walk the dog now and then we are gonna make some quesadillas. We are trying to perfect <laughs> the recipes and today we're making quesadillas with ground beef, which is something that we usually do not eat. And I am gonna make some salsa with mango. 
So this is the tip, just tip. And okay, and you put the lamp in, in here. And this is one of those lamps that gets warm, like that. And then you put the like the bottle in like this, and then the tip on. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so we just plugged in the lava lamp just to see that it's working. And look, I'm so excited, it's working. Oh, it's so cool. I'm gonna put this in my beauty room, I'm so excited. It is so orange here though. Oh, you can see it better here maybe. Like it's literally showing it like just light, but it's actually bright orange. Ugh, such a fan. But what we're actually doing is that we are doing the quesadillas. This is the ground beef and guacamole. And we're also using um, tomatoes and lime and we're doing some salsa and mango. Mm -hmm. Mango. Where do you put the mango? In the other room. In, with the cat food? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I mean, I do love giving my cats luxurious food, but maybe fresh mango is like one step too far. Okay, so this is the salsa. It's tomatoes, onions, mango, cilantro, and salt, pepper, olive oil. And we are starting with the quesadillas here. Putting some stuff in and folding them over. Hopefully it's gonna be tasty. Mm -hmm. Do you Should think be. it's gonna be tasty? Mm -hmm. I have big, big expectations and then even more cheese. <laughs> it's a lot of cheese in the dishes that we've been cooking since we came here. <laughs> it's got cheese in the name. Mm -hmm. Good morning, happy Saturday. Look who's here. Look who's here. Hi, baby. <laughs> um, it is oh, someone else is here. Do you want to jump into my color pop box? Is that it? Okay, it is Saturday. We are going to the event today. Um, so I am gonna vlog that as a separate vlog, and I think I will publish that before I publish this one. So if you want to see. If you want to see the event vlog, it should already be live on my channel. It should be the vlog before this one. So I will get back to you once the event is over. If that is Saturday night, tonight, or if that is tomorrow morning, I don't know. But I will continue the vlog after that. But yeah, we just woke up and hmm, I feel a bit tired. We hear some kind of a sports arena in the background. I don't want to say sport. That's too much. But there's like some kind of a competition and the the commentator woke us up so i'm a little bit tired but i'm gonna have some coffee and i will see you in a second <laughs> good morning i think it is around lunch I'm gonna say lunch. It might be one o'clock. Listen, it's late. I slept in. It was amazing. I just saw a lizard. Also super amazing. Ricardo said I was as excited about a lizard that the cats would be. Because the cats love... It's unfortunate, I think our cats eat the lizards. But this was a big one. We have yet to decide exactly what we're doing today. We're both a little tired because it was late. We came home last night at like almost midnight and we... Oh, the We don't really have lists like that in Sweden. Um, and I did put up a vlog about that. I don't know exactly when I'm putting this up or when I'm putting that one up. And it's probably a really short one. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the event and do a dedicated thing on it. But we are a little tired. Um, and our dog was on a play date all day yesterday. And he's so tired. <laughs> but he probably, like, we had a great time. But he probably had an even better time with had a play date so we have this little dog meeting thing that we have every sunday night where the dogs in the neighborhood meet up and like play a little bit um although i don't think that this one needs to be 
played with anymore he's already tired but it's nice for them to just play a little together but we're toying with the idea of what we want to do before then we do want to buy one of those like pull out couches from ikea when we have like friends and family visiting and we need to test them out so we're toying with the idea of doing that or just going to the pool and doing that some other night i don't know what we're deciding to do look at these boxes for the thing we're sending back to target what do you want to do like the mess that's behind us the kitchen table is just filled with stuff that needs to be sorted and thrown plus my shoes that i wore last, last night <laughs> shoes don't give the shoes to the dog what do you want to do today nothing so the pool mm, it's too far <sighs> we're probably going to the pool hello pool weather Hi, baby! What was that? Are we not saying hi? Hello. So rude. Don't have my stand today, but we're at the pool. I got my new bikini. It's from Target, the Tarche. I can. <laughs> I can link it in case you're interested. I bought it on sale, actually. I don't know if it's on sale still. Who's this otter? <laughs> I don't know if it's still on sale, but I can link it in case you're interested because yeah, the bikini is really really nice I really like it. I have mine in a medium uh, If anyone's wondering about the sizing, so I think it's pretty true to size um, We're just gonna chill by the pool a little bit. We played with Lisa my BFF. We played some Diablo for like two hours or something because well, it's something that we like doing together and now we're just at the pool just relaxing a little bit before we head to that dog thing tonight that's actually really close by as well it's like literally behind the pool but yeah it's really warm outside but it's a little cloudy so there's no people at the pool which is something i love being alone by the pool the best but yeah so far it's been a really chill sunday slept until lunch we had some leftovers even more quesadillas because listen i don't cook unless we can cook for like several like meals so we have eaten quesadillas for three days in a row and it's been delicious we had the last of the salsa and the guacamole we played some diablo and now we're by the pool this has been such a nice sunday thriving <laughs> so we're at the place where the dogs play a little bit so yeah i think i'm just gonna end the vlog here ricardo's going down hopefully the dogs will have a really good time hope you enjoyed the vlog uh, i have no idea how long this vlog <laughs> Sometimes when you're filming over an entire week, you don't really know how it started or what you've been doing. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again. Oh, there's a dog coming. I will see you again hmm, probably next week for another vlog. Bye!